So in this video, let us see the important and familiar shortcuts of Adobe InDesign. As we have already learned about the workspace and we are now familiar with the workspace, so we should also know about these important shortcuts of Adobe InDesign. So here are some of the important shortcuts which are listed here like Ctrl N to take the new document, Ctrl O to open the document, Ctrl Z undo. Like if you have done anything wrong, any mistake, if you wanted to go back or if you wanted to go multiple times back, we use the shortcut called Ctrl Z for going it for going back which is undo. Then Shift Ctrl Z is redo which is used to get it back again, I mean regain it back again. Ctrl S to save, Ctrl D is a shortcut which is called as a place command like any of the external source like images if you wanted to get into the InDesign. So we use Ctrl D as a place command we can get it into the Adobe InDesign. Ctrl A to select all then Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste and Ctrl X to cut. So these are the important and familiar shortcuts of Adobe InDesign which will make us to work easily, comfortably and quickly. So let us see these things practically. We have just known about the commands or the shortcuts of InDesign. Now let us see these things using it, using the keyboard. The very first command is new document which is called Ctrl N. So press Ctrl in the keyboard, simultaneously press N in the keyboard so that you can take a new document. Now once after taking the new document, you click OK and this is the shortcut how you can take a new document. And the next one is open document. So press Ctrl and press O in the keyboard and then you have the document which is already saved. Clicking on it, click open, you can open the document. And the next one is undo. So undo, for example, if I create anything in the InDesign, I apply color, I change the color, I'll just select the tool, I try to move. I'll try to rotate. I've done some changes. So to go back, press Ctrl Z and multiple times, multiple Ctrl Z so that you can just go back. Now to regain it back again, which is called redo. So press Shift Ctrl Z to undo Ctrl Z for redo Shift Ctrl Z. Pressing Shift Ctrl Z, you can regain it back. Now after that, suppose if you wanted to save, press Ctrl S. If it is a new document which hasn't saved for the first time, press Ctrl S or if it is a new document and if you wanted to save it with another name or if it is an open document, so you have to use save as which is Shift Ctrl S. So for the first time, press Ctrl S for saving. So you will have the file name. So you can give uh, InDesign saving and then click save, you can save the document. And now since we have already opened the document, now I'm just moving something and I wanted to save this one with another name. So press Shift Ctrl S, which is save as option. Now here you will have the same name and you can add some extension to it. Let us say one and then click save. That is save as command. Ctrl S is for save, Shift Ctrl S is for save as. After that, the next thing is place command. So what is place? Place is to insert any image into the document. So to insert any image, let me press Ctrl D is a shortcut to place the image. And then here you have some images folder and double click on this and you can see that the image has been placed. Now clicking on that image, you have the boundary where you can use this image and move around the object and you can see the image. Maybe if you wanted to scale, you can scale the image and you can place it. This is Ctrl D command. Click outside to exit. Then after that select all. Now we haven't selected anything and assume that if you have some more objects in the InDesign document and when you press Ctrl A and you can see that we have all the objects in a one shot selected by pressing Ctrl A to select all. And now let us see how to copy. For example, if I select this, Ctrl C is the command to copy and again when I press Ctrl V, you can paste it and it will be placed in some other place. 
undo it you can just select and move and then cut suppose if i don't want this one to be placed here you can directly press control x and then press control v again to paste the cut object and it will be pasted in a position so that's it for this commands